Interrail, EU Rail, Rail Planner, however you want to call it. I was gifted the 7 day EU Rail free pass as I finished high school and I am over age 18. This saved me 250 euros which is the price of a pass like this and this is the series of my road trip across 7 European countries and 7 capital cities. Enjoy! And this here is the, I don't know these names, let me check it. It's a Saint Isvan Basilica. So this is like a, like a church, you know. So the city has pretty good architecture. I mean, I really like the architecture. You can't deny it. It's beautiful. I mean, you have a statue here, whatever that says. Anemet Megzalas something. Yeah, so what I just picked through the streets is the other side of the city, which is uh, over the river, over, over the Danube River. And as soon as I saw it, I mean, that's got to be the, the, the more interesting part of the city. I mean, we're going to get there. I have a, I think there's like a kilometer left, but uh, yeah, I think that's the nice, nice part of the city. I mean, I said I'm not gonna do nothing until I get into the into the booking, but man, screw that. We're going places, look at this. I mean, those two hours, those two freaking hours until I get into the booking, feel like a, a fucking eternity. I mean, I went to eat, now we're going to the river, and it's actually three hours because it's a... The time is different here. And here we are at the Danube. I mean there's a there's a walking path down there but I don't know how to get there. Anyway I can't stand around like you know not doing anything until I get the, the booking. So I'm just walking around, you know, doing whatever seeing these things seeing the, the places i want to see you know i don't know if i'm uh, gonna have anything left to see uh afternoon you know and there are some beautiful uh, structures on that side like that one i don't think i don't think you can see because the gopro doesn't you know it's not that good on uh, 
distance so yeah there's a building there there's a bridge there's a castle or whatever i think that's a church and there are people walking down there but i, I mean how do you get there it's like a tram line right here anyway uh screw that screw the walking path whatever you know i mean the danube river you know we're gonna see a lot of that yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna see a lot of that because this is only the first city you know and uh i think there's like th three cities maybe yeah three capitals yeah yeah there's three ca three capitals uh in which the danube river uh, crosses the city so, and this is the first one you know i'm gonna see bratislava after this and then you're gonna see other cities i'm not gonna mention them right now because you know it's a it's a surprise or whatever but uh yeah this is pretty much the danube i can see it i don't think you can see it but uh there's something I'm, i want to see right here you know right on top of this uh on this street you know um maybe in the afternoon we're gonna cross the river see that side of the city it got more hills more you know it's a little rocky you know yeah it's a little rocky but right now i have one more thing to see right here and then uh yeah after seeing this i'm gonna go to the hotel and i hope I hope, I really hope that it's 2 o'clock because, you know, in Hungary it's one hour before Romania, so there were actually three hours, not two. So, uh, yeah, look at, look at this tram. Doesn't look that new. I mean, looks better th than the one in uh, Bucharest, but... We have better trams in Romania, like Yash, like Oradea. Those have new trains. Oh, and actually, look, I think I think we can see it. I think we can see the Danube River. Ah, right here. It's right here. The whatever, the the way down, you know. Yeah. So look at this. The Danube. And I think we're gonna cross exactly that bridge right there in the afternoon. But right now, I think this is the place I want to see. I really don't know. I have to check the maps. Hold on, hold on a sec. Look at this guy. Just sitting here, looking at the Danube. It's a nice view, you know? can't blame him all right enough of this bullshit all right uh, so the place is called orza gaz and i think it's right here i think this is the place Alright, so this is it. A nice place by the Danube. And right now I'm gonna head back to the to to my place of the to my place of the city, you know. Because I'm really tired, you know. I don't like to complain, but you no. Know, I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> I mean 17 hours on a train, no sleep. Jesus. I feel miserable, you know? So yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna see you back in the... in the hotel room.
Now, hold up a moment. Before we continue on with the vlog, I want to inform you on the ways in which you can support me with the channel. As you can imagine, the money I spend on these videos is different each time. Depends on the location, on the transport, accommodation, the food, etc. Some videos end up costing me almost nothing, but there are videos that end up costing me a bit. YouTube doesn't cover even a bit of my spending since the channel is not monetized at the moment, and even if it would be, I don't have a huge following just yet, so this spending adds up after some time and it makes it really difficult to plan any further advice adventures for vlogs on my channel in the future so if you like my work and enjoy my vlogs there are different ways in which you can help me out you can join my patreon which will allow you to direct contact with me and early access to future videos there is also a revolut link if you want to use credit card and finally there are my personal cryptocurrency addresses which you can send crypto to in your coin of choice there is bitcoin litecoin ethereum monero and cardano all of the info is in the description and now let's get back to the vlog. Now this is the room. I actually came back here and uh, I slept for a bit. But yeah, now I think I'm gonna head out and I wanna show you like the room. This is, was like, uh, this was 40 euros and 50 cents now. For a single room with a... Bath, you know. I mean, it's all right. It's all right, but uh, you got also like a kitchen, but it's uh, like a shared kitchen with other four apart or with other uh, three apartments. There's four other apartments in total. But yeah, it's you know for forty euros a night. It was it's it's pretty okay, you know. So I stopped to get some McDonald's and I paid 3150 for 9 nuggets, a big menu, you know, um, and the special McFarm burger, which is a pork burger, and it's only available in Hungary. <clears throat> but there's a couple of things I, I have to say, like the big soda, I mean, it's big, but uh, I guess Hungary doesn't like the new straws, you know, the ones that are good for the environment or whatever. Whatever, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, I guess they went with this kind of Starbucks thing, you drink from here, you know, whatever. I mean, yeah, it works, but pretty weird. 
and then all right so this was a this was a oh, god damn it this was a big menu okay so when you say big menu I mean you make it large because it makes your soda large you, you, as you can see it's large and it makes your fries large but look at this check this out what Hungary thinks what Hungarian McDonald's thinks large fries means this 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 thing this this little piece of I mean this is like a this is a joke, right? <laughs> this is like a Happy Meal size fries, you know? And I paid extra for this, uh, you know, curly fries, like a uh, hundred foreign. And even you, you pay extra and you get less. I mean, it's pretty, pretty weird. Pretty, I guess they go with the big uh, beverages, but not with the big fries, I don't know. Then we have this garlic sauce, which looks different from the one we have in Romania. I, I think it's gonna be different. And we have another sauce, which is like some kind of ranch, some kind of buttermilk ranch. Yeah, all right. And let's see the McFarm. So this is the McFarm, it's like a double. I'm guessing maybe this is the meat from the, from the sandwich in the morning. What's it called? Uh, the what's it called you know you want the, the mcmuffin yeah I, maybe it's the mcmuffin meat because that's pork you know all right so i'm gonna check this out and uh i'm gonna tell you how it is all right so the the nuggets are good the curry fries are of course good but they're not as good as the twisters we used to have in romania um the garlic sauce is pretty good it's actually good, not as good as the one in Romania, of course, but uh, I mean, I guess it's, you know, this one is okay, the ranch, and the McFarm tastes really similar to the McPork we we have in my country, you know, we have a McPork with um, a horseradish sauce, and this is with the mustard sauce, so it's kind of, it's kind of similar, you know. And yeah, the Lipton is good, of course, but not as cold as I like it. But yeah, overall, this is pretty good.